in some area of your life from the last two months you have realized that there has been a considerable amount of progress which you have made but there is much more that you want to do or there's much more that you always wanted to do and there is still much more that you can do or rather let me put it this way there's some part in your consciousness some part of you which tells that look you can be much better in a particular domain all right you don't need to be like the way you are now and that is why it is highly essential that you should start taking steps to improve yourself in that direction well does it sound like somebody well if yes then you are going to understand why this is happening well now very soon venus and rahu are going to be conjunct together sun venus rahu are going to be conjunct in the sign of gemini and this will happen by the end of june or you can say beginning of july and till the end of august these two will be conjunct all right venus and rahu this happens you know once in a year or sometimes it happens with ketu you know six months so that rahu ketu axis keeps playing with venus or rather venus keeps playing <laughs> all right so what happens when a planet comes in close proximity to rahu what happens exactly is you become overly optimistic about those areas of your life which is ruled by that planet in a way which is not required which means you want to do certain things which sometimes even if you don't do will not have any adverse effect in your life but you start feeling that i must do that unless i do that i will not be at peace so what happens with this conjunction is not venus rahu any planet what exactly happens is your focus becomes too much on the externals which means you become hell bent on getting things done now which area is it well depending on your ascendant whichever house is venus is ruling in your chart that is where the flavor will come so for example if you are a taurus lagna then it's your ascended lord and your sixth lord if you are capricorn lagna then is the fifth lord the tenth lord if it's aquarius fourth lord ninth lord so so now what's going to happen is venus is going to transit into gemini now gemini is a very it's a very peculiar sign for venus why do i say this because there are certain aspects of gemini which are very good for venus and there are certain aspects of gemini which can completely ruin venus ruin venus to such an extent you cannot imagine all right and in my experience i have seen in my limited experience i would say of 20 30 years people having planets in gemini especially venus it is very easy for them to get to get into a relationship or to find a partner or you know date it's very easy for them easy doesn't mean anybody and everybody but it's not a big challenge for them but to maintain that relationship is a struggle so if you talk of venus in perspective of its placement in gemini from different angles like finding like for example for venus there can be certain signs where it can be very difficult to find a partner why i'm speaking of partner because venus is the significator of uh partners venus is the spouse in the chart so if in my experience i have seen venus in gemini can be very good if used properly good communication you know having fun with friends or going for holidays destinations going to places which you like or associating yourself with some kind of an hobby or writing work hobbies i have seen specially venus in gemini i have seen people 
they're very much dedicated towards their hobbies much more than uh, Venus even if it is exalted or even if it's in Libra I have seen yes because Gemini is the original third house and third house is one of the house of hobbies including the fifth house of course but in my experience I have seen much more uh, people who are focused with their hobbies when it comes to Venus in Gemini rather than Venus in Leo which is also the original fifth sign so now the interesting thing here is that's the good part now on the darker side if venus is afflicted by being in gemini especially if it is afflicted by saturn or rahu i have seen then this can give a tendency to jump from members of the opposite sex today i met somebody and then maybe you know it's not working and after three months i met somebody else then after three months again i met somebody else now i'm not saying that's morally right or that's good or bad that's not the point here but that's the trait i have seen okay and yes now many people will say that no 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 i have venus in gemini aspected by saturn or rahu or ketu or mars whatever and i have had a very long sustained relationship i am uh, in a committed married life well that's perfectly fine it, it always depends on your chart you cannot make a blanket statement but in my experience i have seen that all right this has positives and this has challenges placement of venus in gemini and uh, also i have seen these people complaining or other not, complaining is not a good word i would say uh, expressing themselves that i'm bored with this person i need somebody new or you know somehow they are always wanting newer and newer experiences in life which is again not bad uh, can be difficult or challenging in certain areas like marriage so now what happens is venus has entered gemini i mean it will enter it's around 28 29 degrees of taurus which is its own sign and then it will enter gemini so so now what happens is when it's with rahu now see rahu is a tamasic planet it represents kali yuga so what happens is when a planet is in gemini so for example now venus is in gemini so now what rahu does is rahu will put the tamasic qualities in venus so which means you know more frivolousness can come so this is the time you will see if somebody is into you know making some apps like you know day dating apps or anything of that sort you know they will they will go viral they will so many uh, millions of downloads will be there that will happen and the dating experience will become very intense it will become more frivolous and people will become more and more casual that could happen but there's something interesting here it's not just venus and rahu it is saturn also because saturn from sagittarius is throwing the seventh aspect directly to venus do not forget that so when saturn does that what happens is now saturn is also a tamasic planet it's very interesting you know saturn and rahu so rahu and saturn in a way they are the extreme opposites but they are both tamasic planets it's very interesting even mars also so what could happen now is these traits could come up but because saturn is aspecting saturn is restriction always remember that wherever saturn is there is restriction there restriction does not mean external restriction restriction simply means uh, that your amount of karmic enjoyment is not as per your expectation so suppose somebody has the karma of you know uh, making ten thousand dollars a month but if saturn and venus is linked or if saturn is linked with the lords of the second sixth tenth and eleventh he will always feel that i need to make twenty thousand dollars a month now uh, that's very subjective you know ten thousand is less or more for somebody ten thousand dollars can be very less it could be like peanuts some millionaires and for somebody who doesn't have a place to stay for them you know that could be the money which they earn in a lifetime so the point here is 
frivolousness could increase but because of saturn's aspect this frustration also could be there so what so now what's the remedy the remedy is what it's very simple the remedy is that we have to understand that anyways whatever we do in this material world now always remember venus does not only mean opposite sex all right it doesn't only mean relationships it means uh, drinking wine alcohol all of these things come under venus okay alcohol has some link with saturn also rahu also but primarily the aspect of drinking anything fine anything refined refined poison <laughs> Even if it's poison, it's still under Venus. All right, a milkshake is also Venus. Yes, milk is the moon, <laughs> but milkshake is Venus because that's something fancy. That's that's very attractive, you know. Strawberry milkshake, you know, wine, alcohol. It's made very fancy. Anything fancy is most likely not good for the body. So the thing here is. in general these things will increase during this month but people will feel restricted people will feel that i want to do 10 things but i am not able to oh, why so the remedy is very simple you have to realize that either you enjoy 10 things or 20 or 30 or 10 million things you will never be happy with materialistic pleasure eternally now materialistic pleasure does gives give some level of pleasure initially of course because krishna says in the gita that materialistic pleasure is like you know pleasure in the beginning and poison in the end nate shuramate budha an intelligent person does not delight in that so now this does not mean that uh, you leave all the materialistic pleasure and you go to the forest that's not the meaning the meaning is that do not become overly obsessed with materialistic pleasure because everything is very short lived you know the pleasure of sexuality is very short lived certain moments and then whoosh, finished and then after that there's separation love at first sight divorce at first fight <laughs> when the cloud of you know infatuation and euphoria that disappears then you see the person for who they are in reality because when you are infatuated by somebody whatever that person does even if that person is insulting somebody you will feel oh look how sweetly that person insults right how sweet that person is <laughs> that's what rahu does rahu is the karaka for infatuation many people say venus is the karaka for infatuation no venus is not the karaka for infatuation venus is the karaka for attraction which is there between you know husband and a wife that could be or in general a man and a female a woman but rahu is that infatuation which tells you you know that person is like the ideal match in this world you know there's nobody like that person whatever that person does is perfect there's no doubt on it all right that person can never be wrong even if that person is wrong they are still right because they are they right <laughs> so that's what rahu does rahu is cloud and according to a uh, lot of researchers and lot of psychologists and lot of people who keep dealing with you know marriage matrimony websites and dating websites especially and in my limited experience what i have seen this infatuation lasts for 1 year to 18 months and that is why you will see most of the there are so many divorces which happen between the second and the third year of the marriage why why not in the first year why not in the fifth year why not in the tenth year it can happen at any year of course depending on the karma but in majority cases i have seen because when it is 18 months you know almost one year to 18 months then the cloud cloud is gone rahu is gone there rahu has cheated you and now the person is as he is or she is now the scolding is not beautiful the scolding pinches your ego he hurts you she hurts you right now you feel miserable with that person in fact there was a girl who once told me that she hates her partner so much 
so much so much <laughs> that uh, when he is there and he is you know eating some dry fruits and you know then uh, he he has a bad habit according to her that he always used to you know open his mouth and eat you know so the sound would come out so now this girl said that i am so disgusted with this person you know when i hear the sound of eating you know that he is eating something you know i feel like ripping his head off why can't he just close his mouth and eat <laughs> so that's what rahu does after 18 months yes he has put all the fantasies in your mind and then it's like bang oh all right so that's what we need to watch out for during this time because remember saturn's aspect is there he will teach us the lessons now some people will say that oh uh, why is this fear mongering going on or saturn will come and beat us well don't worry saturn will not beat you saturn will only teach a lesson to those people who always learn the hard way so people fear saturn very much but they don't know that if you just learn lessons the easy way round you do not have to get the beatings of saturn yes so that's the point which i wanted to make and regarding the lordships of venus that will also be affected they will also undergo this kind of a flavor all right so that is what i wanted to say and yes god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will <laughs> protect you <laughs> and yes if you are new then please like comment share and subscribe and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit and you want to know how this will affect you depending on your dashas then you could go down to the description section to book a reading with me all right thank you very much wish you all the best